Those close encounters with coyotes continue here in this Scarborough neighborhood near Warden and St. Clair. A week after a little girl and her little dog were chased by the wild animal, more sightings are being reported, leaving residents on edge. Tonight, what we've learned about the family of coyotes living in this green space here beside me and why they don't appear to be afraid of humans. So I turned around. Um, I was just so scared of the the coyote was just here and uh, I was so scared and I uh, fell down the lawn. This is video of Audrey on Monday morning tending to her garden while the camera captures a coyote approaching. All she felt was something brush up against her leg. Even though I was holding the phone, I was uh, shouting at him. I said, just go, go away. And uh, he was looking at me. He didn't move and I was so scared. Audrey says it took her husband and a neighbor yelling and throwing sticks before the coyote finally ran away. In the last two weeks, the city has received 41 calls about sightings and close encounters in this area, including one at a nearby schoolyard. One day, the coyote was in the, uh, you see the school fence, mm -hmm. was in the fence, and uh, the kids were around in the playground, right? So the kids were shouting. I didn't see this, but my neighbor said. So the kids were saying, oh, uh, they were shouting, uh, um, coyote, coyote. <laughs> This all comes a week after we first showed you the video of 10 year old Lily Kwan being chased down by the wild dog as her little Yorkie Macy tries to fight off the animal. Luckily, both were able to escape. Well, City News has now learned a family of coyotes is living back here in this green space. There are four adults and seven to nine pups. Toronto Animal Services tells me it's been investigating these close encounters and believes one reason why the coyotes appear to be fearless of humans is because the family of coyotes was being fed intentionally by photographers. Much as what was happening with the foxes on the boardwalk. Same sort of thing. They're luring them to get their photographs and intentional feeding. And that is why coyotes and wildlife will come. That is problematic. Coyote Watch Canada and the Ministry of Natural Resources are also keeping close tabs on the family. In fact, the main coyote seen trolling the neighborhood is wearing a tracker. And at this stage, the hope is to naturally encourage the coyotes to stay in the ravine. We are in the neighborhood, we are in the area providing education as well as providing aversion conditioning to try and get these coyotes to be leaving um, people alone and not becoming um, so close. Will this eventually keep them sort of at bay and keep them in, in their green space? That is the intent and that is our hope that that will happen. If it doesn't and if we have other issues, then we have to respond appropriately. Now, we did see one dog owner walking around the neighborhood today with a metal pole in her hand, telling us that she's ready to scare off this coyote if necessary. Residents right now are being told to eliminate any food sources from their property, such as garbage bags sitting outside. And if you do see a coyote, don't turn and run. It will chase you. That's instinct. Instead, slowly back away, get big and make noise. Residents are also being asked to report any encounters to animal services so that they can continue tracking the behavior. Here.